Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will explore the balanced carry forward job in SAP S4HANA using Fiori. Therefore, we navigate to the application called General Ledger Jobs, this one over here. With this application, we can schedule many different jobs for the General Ledger. In this instance, we will schedule the important job called Balance Carry Forward to close our financial year and carry forward the balance to the next financial year. As you can see, I'm right now here in the start screen. We have different options over here. We can search for already existing jobs. We can also filter by different status. So for instance, we can filter for finished jobs, jobs that are still in progress, or also erroneous jobs. And we can also specify a time interval in which we want to search for the existing jobs. However, for now, we will create a new job. Therefore, we click on this plus symbol over here. In the first tab, you can see we need to select a template. So right now it's set to advanced foreign currency valuation, but we will choose here the symbol, then click on the X sign. And now all the different jobs we can choose from are being displayed. We will select a job called balance carry forward. By the way, if you can't see all of the different jobs being displayed over here, this is because in the backend system, you need to do the proper configuration. So you need to actually fill a certain table with this technical name so that the job is being displayed in this application. The table is called apj underscore c underscore scope and I will leave you the path to the table in the description of this video. So let's select balance carry forward. You can see the job template is now set to balance carry forward. We can change the job name if necessary. Let's say balance carry forward to 2024 and then we can click on step two. In the second step, we can now define the scheduling options. So we can either say that the job should start immediately or we can also deselect the symbol over here and then we can give it a certain start time and a time zone if necessary. Also you can see over here the recurrence pattern is a single run. We can even schedule this job on a regular basis via define recurrence pattern. You can see a window opens up and here we can actually say that this job should run, for instance, hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. For now, this is fine. I will say start immediately. And then we have the third step, and this is also the final one, where we can specify parameters. So basically, we can specify that this particular job should run, for instance, per ledger we have in our system, if we have a ledger approach for our general ledger accounts. However, if we select a ledger over here, then we need to repeat the same procedure for each and every ledger up until all the ledger's balances are carried forward to the next year. Also, we can restrict this job here for certain company codes. Both of them are actually optional. However, you can see over here, carry forward to fiscal year. This is actually mandatory. Here we set the year we want the balance to be carried forward to. In this instance, 2024. We can select a test run if necessary. So if we select the test run, then we can see if our balance can be carried forward successfully without actually writing any data to the database. Then we have two more optional settings over here. Reset central balance carry forward. So when we select this indicator, then the balance carry forward line items that were already created for the specified fiscal year are deleted. So this we can use if we want to repeat our balance carry forward job at a later point in time. Actually, if we set this, then the program first deletes all the line items that have already been created for the specific fiscal year. And then the balance carry forward is automatically run again as an initial run. So again, this is here to repeat the balance carry forward run at a later point in time. And then we have here activate automatic BCF only. So when we run the balance carry forward, then the balances are carried forward to the next financial year. Afterwards, the system keeps these balances current by updating the starting balance of the year whenever we post a journal entry before the start of this year. So this means that when we post a journal entry several years in the past, several starting balances are updated. And this is done via this activate automatic balance carry forward only option. For now, we will leave both of them as is. Now we can select over here, check first to see if we can schedule the job. You can see there is a success message. We could select template so that this job here is saved as a template meaning that whenever we create a new job, we can reuse the parameters we already inserted over here, or we can use the button schedule. Let's actually click this one. Now the balance will be carried forward to the next financial year. 
As you can see, currently it's in process. We can actually refresh the site via Go. It will take a while. Up until this is done, let me just fast forward. Now we can see the job has been finished and we can see there is a big X in red being displayed over here. So we can actually click here on the lock and then you can see three different subsections. Let's click on the first one. Here we can see the lock for the company code 1010. 12 fixed assets for the ledger IFRS have been processed and there were certain warnings. This is okay for now. Let's click back and select the second one. Here we can see also some fixed assets have been processed. However, now for a different accounting principle. So actually per accounting principle, the lock will display the information. And then let's select the last one. Here we can see the whole overview. So the balance has been carried forward. Then there are some warnings for a predictive ledger and warnings are okay so far, but then we also have some error messages. So for instance, here's a returned earnings account missing and then there is a wrong target fiscal year and so on and so forth. So basically you have to go through all of those error messages at least. You can for sure here filter for the severity. So let's say error only, click go, and then you need to correct all of them. So there are different messages as you can see, and you need to correct all of them before you can actually carry forward the balance. More important application that I want to show you. It's called carry forward status, like that. Click on this one. And the application opens. First of all, you have different filter criteria that you can utilize. So at least we need to insert the two fiscal year. As you remember, when we carried out the balance carry forward, we also had to insert the next financial year to which we want to forward the balances. So let's say 2024. Then we can restrict this for company codes if necessary and also for ledgers. As you remember, we can execute the balance carry forward also per company code and ledger if necessary. We can select for the run date and also the status and then hit on go. And over here you can see now all the different balance carry forward status filtered by company code and ledger. For sure, as always, we can utilize the status bar over here and search for instance for the ones successfully processed or we can also and this is quite important for the error analysis sort for the ones which are erroneous like that thanks a lot for watching this video till the end if you like it then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell see you next time